Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, just welcome. I'm Julia, and I've been living in this 2002 Toyota Sienna basically full-time for just over three months now. I'm at the point where I'm pretty settled in, and I thought it was time to do a tour, so let's jump on in. So I'm here in the driver's seat, as the name suggests. This is where I do all my driving. There are some things to note up here, though. On the side door here, I have an umbrella. Vaseline and super glue both of which I haven't really used and then hand sanitizer and hand lotion both of which I have used quite a bit So coming into the car Up here. I have some sunglasses and then coming to the front here. I have this phone holder I don't have aux or bluetooth. So if I listen to music I just play my music out loud or listen to the one cd I have here Which I'll get into in just a second and then down here I have this charging port which I occasionally use to charge my portable battery and then finally I use the cd card for storage. I have my GoPro and mount, some wires. This is for charging my battery. This is for my phone. And then the CD, 1989 Taylor's version. I'm very sorry about my dirty floors, but the last thing to note here is I don't have a center console, so I can just slide back and forth into the back of the minivan pretty easily. And then I also have these cup holders to hold whatever I'm drinking when I'm driving. So coming to the side here, this is the passenger seat. I call this the storage closet because I just use it for storage. If I need someone else in the car, I can easily move everything into the back, but yeah. I'm actually staying in my family friend's apartment right now, but here on the side door is where I keep all my shopping bags. So actually coming into the passenger seat here, it looks chaotic, but it's pretty organized. So down here, I just have all my books that I hope I'll finish in the next few years. I also have this beach blanket, these congas or sarongs that are very versatile snorkel gear. And then I just have a bunch of different backpacks for different occasions. This is just like my traveling backpack, hydration pack for festivals, purse, whatever backpacks. My laundry bag sits up here as well. This is my pee jar, which I use in the middle of the night. And if I ever have to, it's the bathroom. This is my portable battery, which I mainly use to charge my phone and laptop. Uh, when I'm not going anywhere, it sits up here. But if I'm driving, it goes here in the center so I can charge my phone. And if I'm just hanging out in the back, it sits back there with me. Resting on the side here, I have my camping chair and camping table. This is a foldable solar panel that I haven't really used yet. And then this is my fanny pack. It just serves as like a sort of purse holding everything that I like to take out with me on a daily basis. And then coming to my glove compartment, I have some napkins, my travel wallet, records of service I get done in the car, other documents relating to my car, this good luck thing my mom gave me, a Swiss army knife, and a lock and key, which you can't really see. Before continuing on with the tour, I'd like to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. If you're watching this, chances are van life is interesting to you in some degree. And maybe you have this dreamy idea of van life where you're constantly in beautiful spots, living the life. And while that is true, van life is just life in a van or a minivan in my case. And just like everyone else, I have things going on behind the scenes that I have to work out. Therapy is a powerful tool that helps you get through anything going on in your life and BetterHelp makes the process of starting therapy super easy. If you haven't heard of them, BetterHelp is an online therapy platform with over 30,000 therapists ready to help you out. To get started, you fill out a questionnaire of the challenges you're going through and what kind of therapist you'd like. Once you're matched up with one, you can have therapy sessions at a time that's convenient for you via phone call, video chat, or even messaging, whatever you find most comfortable. And if at any time you feel like your therapist isn't a great fit, you can switch therapists at no additional cost. You can get 10% off your first month by using the link in my description below, which is betterhelp.com forward slash Julia Dutra. Okay, back to the video. So coming to the back here, this is where I spend all my time if I'm not out of the minivan or driving. Coming into the right here, I have my shoe basket. It's not velcroed down, but it doesn't really move around when I drive, so that is awesome. I also have my jacket hanging off of the passenger seat here, just in case it gets cold. And this is my bed. I built it to fit the shape of the minivan better since the back here comes in five inches. And then for reference, I'm 5'4". I believe the bed, I cut it down to 71.5 inches. If you're tall, good luck, but I'm short and it works perfectly. It's a super comfortable bed. The mattress is a six inch memory foam. And then as for what I have on it, just this comforter, um, this extra blanket here in case it gets cold or honestly, when it's hot out, I don't really use the comforter, I just use the blanket. Then I have two pillows here, a reading pillow, Ellie, who is just along for the ride. So I also built the bed to have some storage space and it's basically where I store all my clothing. For the most part my clothes are in six different storage bags. Uh, I can't really show you but here's a diagram of how it looks under there. I have two big storage bags for just the main clothes I wear 
one for accessories, one for fun clothes that I'm not wearing that often, one for underwear, bras, and swimwear, and then one for socks. Truth be told though, uh, the clothes I reach for the most, I just kind of stuff here in the front so I can grab them easily. Coming to the side of my bed here, I have this water and white vinegar mixture that I once used to clean mold out of my cooler, but mainly use now to clean my pee jar. <laughs> and then over here, I have the book I'm currently reading along with just a bunch of bookmarks. And over here is my main storage area. I just got this storage cabinet from Target and it is bolted down into the floor so it doesn't move. I'd like to decorate the side here more one day, but for now we just have Miss Taylor. And then before I dive more into what's in each of the bins, I have these bungee cords to keep these baskets in place so they don't move around when I'm driving. And then you don't really have to worry about these because the bed is right there. So they might slide, but they stay and nothing gets knocked over. I also know it looks like I can't really reach into them easily, but I most definitely can. So as for what's in the bins, this is like my office. Uh, it has my camera gear, other electronics. Things like notebooks, pens, pencils, those kinds of things. The office. Then on the right here is all my cooking and eating utensils. I also keep propane up here. Then here on the bottom right is just toiletries, my towels for the shower, bug spray, sunscreen, those kinds of things. And finally, this is just my miscellaneous basket, just random things that don't really fit anywhere else. I have paper towels, a towel, plastic bags I use for trash, toilet paper, a little brush to clean the floor, dish washing stuff along with dish soap, my Christmas tree, <laughs> and ornaments, more plastic bags, a little lantern, beads from New Orleans, bungee cords, fabric, lighter, vinegar, a dustpan, lint roller, another lighter, more toilet paper, and that's everything. And then coming to the back here, I just have some more random things, a box, I don't even know, some toiletries I don't want spilling in the toiletries bin. And then this is the battery pack for the fairy lights that I have in my minivan. Now coming to the back here, this is mostly kitchen stuff, but starting off, I have my window covers here. They stay here during the day because they're just too big to go anywhere else, but at night they go and cover up my windows as I sleep. They each have these like Velcro things that help them stay on the windows. Moving from right to left, I have this bowl and strainer here because they didn't fit in the cooking utensils bin. This is a collapsible sink and cutting board. This is my Coleman two burner stove. And then this is a 7.5 gallon water container. The best thing about this is that it has this spigot that I just put on the other side here. That makes it easy to let the water out. I use the water to cook, wash dishes, fill up my water bottles, whatever I need it for. Now this is my cooler. It's a 45 quart from Arctic and it just holds all the food I need refrigerated. Very spacious in there. Look at that. And then I have my dry foods basket up here and it is velcroed down so it doesn't move. And then on the side here I have a towel, my toiletries bag, and my windshield cover. And then if I move my cooler and water jug, I can access what I need for car maintenance. Down here is how I get my spare tire. And then on the side here, I just have my jack, jumper cables, the screw thing to, you know, access the spare tire, and a rag. And that pretty much covers everything. If you have any questions or it seems like I missed something, please let me know down below. And if you're not already subscribed, I basically make vlogs documenting my lifestyle. I plan on spending the next few years traveling to all 50 states and 63 national parks in this minivan. In the three months I've been on the road so far, I've visited eight states and two national parks, so I have a long way to go. If that's something you're interested in seeing, be sure to subscribe to follow along. And that's all for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.